The tough cookie. Richmond runner Wayne Johnson is out there telling them just to keep possession. Time's all important. Tambling to the pocket. Hill did well. Did really well. Dyson over Jack the top to Watson. Kick on the bottles. Watson's got plenty of room. He has three bounces. Almost went without it in the end. Now gives it to Jason Johnson. Johnson's forced to go long. It floats. Lucas is there. Beautifully done in front by Bowden. Ball's still alive. Foley desperate. He's tackled high. Umpire waves the arms and says play on. Pollack. Miles run down by Hurl. Again. Picked up by McVeigh. Two loose bombers. Lucas plays on and kicks the goal. It's a goal of difference. James Hurd tackle set it up. He's not finished with yet, is he, James Hurd? Not for the season, certainly not tonight. Three efforts there, Hutto. Three chases, and the third tackle ended up dispossessing Richmond. Rebound Essendon goal. Crucial for both teams here, this centre clearance. What a game this has become. It was just going along as normal midway through the second quarter, and all of a sudden it ignited, and really, Did hasn't Watson stopped good. since. Watson has been great. Out of the middle they go again, the Bombers. Carl's kick is well placed. McPhee. You have to be versatile in this game. Defenders have become forwards. Even James Hurd's been a defender at times. McPhee is a big kick of the ball. Probably does his best kicking on the run. Gets the momentum up and sinks it as far as he can. And they still won't be able to sink the Tigers yet. Scores a level at the MCG. occasion matches you need a breakout match you need a real thrill to the end for them to become landmark matches that we remember and this could well be it for the dream time at the G well what a fantastic contest and I have to say in this quarter one player has been a very important to Essendon in this last quarter has been Joe Watson in the middle of the ground Johnson is now gone as a loose man in defense but it's now, it is game on, and you can feel the crowd, the atmosphere, sensational. Mark Johnson, spare man in defence for the Bombers. That means the Tigers have got a spare man, but it is a loaded Essendon forward line. Essendon got the last clearance, got the goal. We're into time on, scores level. McVeigh, out to Watson again. Handballs back to McVeigh. Hemmed in, so he dishes off to Cole. Decides to maintain possession. Now Peveril will start things again. He looks for Winderlich. Tambling does the fist. Now it spills to Watson. Big last five oh. minutes out wide. Lucas somehow is free. Didn't get a kind bounce. Got to be a couple. Bowden. Polak. Now Newman. It's Tiger's turn. On the rebound. Mark's taken by Howard. Centre wing. Peveril injured and off the ground for the Bombers. Howard. Can the Tigers regain their composure? Been a hurricane for the Bombers in the last two minutes. Richardson is the one and only target. In the back. Oh. 50, 50 metres. And you're looking at the Bombers. Richard will kick the goal. He's oblivious to the fact that no only is he giving away the free, he has given away the 50. For the Tigers. Richmond pushing all of their numbers back. Umpire said in the back. Um, there'll be more debate about the rule, won't there? But we've got to concentrate on the now. And the now is Wingerlick and the Bombers surging. Shocking kick. Scores are level. Look at Richard. He's his own oh, entertainment package. It's a, it's a dodgy old kick, but it's come off. It's hit tuck on the head. He loses it. Here's a chance for Aspen Watson. Got the tack of the fumbles at the wrong moment. Pressure with a capital P. Richo still bleeding down the other end. Well, too late now. Hands in the back, says the umpire. We've got about 30 players around this contest. Any score, any score, just get it going forward. Hill the tap. Reigns heads towards the boundary line. McPhee ducked his head. Throw it in 
says umpire, Brad Allen. No idea how long. Deep into time on. It's 40 metres out from the Bombers' goal. A point would do it. He'll attack. Jason Johnson. It's a point. But Richmond have possession. And it's in the hands of Bowden and Delidio is away. The running man, can he get it and can he go? No, he can't. He was forced to hit it back. The ball is responding. McVeigh for Carl. Another handball on. It's Hawley. It's Hawley. And he's missed again. Well, two points the difference. Is there time? You'd think there is for the Tigers. Turbling out wide. Last roll of the dice for the Tigers. Means they need a goal now. Oh, no, too much on the kick. Terrible turnover. Lloyd. Will he ice the clock? He will. McPhee. McPhee's got to get in the goal square. Somebody does. to, I guess, uh, pinch one, you could say. I mean, the response in the last turn by the team, I mean, not that they were that far ahead anyway, but just to hang on and keep going. Yeah, look, it was a good effort. Uh, we didn't play well in the third quarter and we needed to lift and uh, we were able to, which was good. How to keep your composure at the end of it? Uh, yeah, uh, cross the fingers and the toes and hope. Well done. Thanks, Christy. Thanks. Well, as Matthew Richardson, what a great game he played. So did James Hurd. This is the moment. This put Richmond in front. Sure. This was just about the winning goal. He played he on. Kicked he kicked it. the goal. He kicked it. He celebrated. But it was not only a free kick to Mel Michael. It was a 50-minute penalty. And look at him. Richo's played league football. At the end of the game, Richo's played league football for 15 years. The first 14 years he played, that would have been OK. This year, it's not... And it just must rip the heart out of Terry Wallace to see his team give what they gave tonight and go down. At the same time, Essendon were fantastic. We thought they were gone with five minutes to go. Vossi, you'd given no. them away. Well, wow, they were gone. I had. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I you thought, had CD sack, was I, I, <laughs> I mean, it was just one of those games where it went against the flow. I mean, Essendon were able to fight back in that last five minutes. All credit to them. Richmond should have won that game. I mean, you know, you don't like the word honourable loss. Yes, Terry you don't. The moment, he, addressing the players. Talk to them. But that's the effort you want. You want that effort week after week. That's probably the instructions he's giving them now. They back themselves in. They chance their arm. What they did they do wrong in the game. last five minutes, Bossy? Well, they made some errors. They made some critical errors in the end. And they made some turnovers. And, you know, and in modern football... That's what hurts you the most. They got beaten at the last three centre bounces. Joe Watson was fantastic in that last five, ten minutes of the game. 